Thank you for purchasing your EDM 930 series engine data management system. You will discover that this is the finest engine monitoring instrument available for piston engines. This video will walk you through the operation of the EDM 930 and answer most of the common questions about the instrument. The EDM 930 is available for four, six, seven, eight, and nine cylinder engines. Think of your EDM 930 as your personal flight engineer always there working in the background constantly watching over your engine while you concentrate on flying the aircraft your EDM 930 will be monitoring your engine conditions four times per second and will warn you instantly if any measurement exceeds the preset limit in this video you will examine every display and measurement and all user functions we will then explain how to customize your EDM 930 for your personal preferences but before we do, let's get an overview of the instrument. The EDM 930 displays engine measurements on a liquid crystal display screen and a remote auxiliary display called the RAD. The RAD provides redundancy, places critical information directly in front of you. It is required on a primary installation. When you turn on the EDM 930, the RAD will scroll the make and model of your aircraft. You must verify that information matches your aircraft. On the main display, you will see a brief self-test, and then you will be asked about the fuel status. Here it is, asking if you refueled the aircraft. If you have filled the tanks or added or removed fuel, tap the fill button to select how much fuel you have in the tanks. Here you have pre-programmed the unit for 75 gallons. Tap yes when you're finished entering fuel information. During the normal operation, the RAD will display RPM and manifold pressure. The display screen is arranged into three sections. The top left is the RPM and manifold pressure section. The bottom left is the scanner section. The right side is the bar graphs section. The upper part of the RPM and manifold pressure section shows RPM and the lower part shows the manifold pressure. The numerical value is also shown digitally. The power settings exceeding red line are displayed by the blinking alert icon and a blinking message in the scanner section. The RAD will also display any alarms. Percent horsepower is displayed digitally underneath the manifold pressure. The bar graph section contains nine dedicated bar graphs with digital display. Full scale is red line. The default displays are oil temperature, oil pressure, fuel pressure, bus voltage, amps, outside air temperature, fuel flow, left fuel quantity, and right fuel quantity. The EDM 930 scanner section is on the lower left side of the screen. It will go into automatic scan mode 10 minutes after power up. You don't have to touch any buttons. To get into manual scan mode, tap step. To get into automatic scan mode, tap lean find and then tap step. Let's jump in and see how it works in more detail. The EDM 930 collects data and displays it for you in a useful way. The EDM 930 monitors engine temperatures, pressures, fuel quantities, fuel flow, and voltages. It is invaluable for adjusting the fuel-air mixture and for diagnosing engine malfunctions. Let's examine the scanner section analog display. On the left side of the display is the exhaust gas temperature or EGT bar graft presentation. The height of each column represents the EGT. The last column shows turbine inlet temperature. The EGT temperature scale is to the left of the bars. On the right side of the display is the cylinder head temperature or CHT bar graft presentation. The CHT temperature scale is to the right of the bars. The individual temperatures are displayed above each bar. Below each column is a number corresponding to the engine cylinder number. The rightmost column displays turbine inlet temperature. Beneath the bar graft is the alphanumeric display. 
A square surrounding the cylinder number indicates which cylinder is being displayed on this numerical display. When the square surrounds a cylinder number, the digital display shows the EGT on the left four digits and the CHT on the right three digits. Two other derived measurements are shown in this display. The rate of shock cooling of the most rapidly cooling cylinder in degrees per minute. Lycoming recommends that you keep this value below 50 degrees per minute. The difference between the hottest and coolest exhaust gas temperatures. Fuel flow measurements will be described later in this video. There are four buttons on the front panel. The button labels can change depending on the content of the display. Normally the button labels are from left to right. The step button, the lean find button, the dim button, and the EGT fuel flow button. Ten minutes after the EDM 930 is turned on, it will automatically index through all measurements. Tapping the step button will take you into the manual indexing mode. Here you can observe each measurement value for as long as you want. To resume the automatic indexing, tap Lean Find and then tap Step. The dim button adjusts the display brightness. Hold to brighten, tap to dim. You have a choice of three display indexing options as selected by the EGT Fuel Flow button. The EGT position will display only temperature related measurements. The fuel flow position will display only the fuel flow related measurements and the all position will display all measurements. The display indexing option does not affect the bar graph display nor does it affect the alarms. Any alarm such as an over temperature alarm will immediately display the alarm message regardless of which display indexing option is selected we can also exclude displaying measurements in the automatic scan. Step to the measurement you wish to exclude, then tap both the step and lean find buttons simultaneously. You will see a dot before the label. This means the measurement will be excluded from the automatic scan. To include this measurement, just tap the step and lean find buttons simultaneously and observe that the dot disappears. By holding the Lean Find and Dim buttons, you can see the EDM 930 values for current hobs, starting hobs, flight hobs, which is the difference between current and starting, and on the bottom is the flight duration in hours, minutes, and seconds.